Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the cold inlet valve on your front load washer. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the washer. So unplug it. We're also going to need to remove the inlet fill hose to the cold water valve. So you may need to pull your washer forward and remember to turn off the water supply and then remove the hose. Now that we have access to the back of the washer, our next step will be to remove the main top. We simply take out these three quarter inch hex head screws and then just pull that top back about a half an inch and that will disengage a couple little tabs on the front that hook into those two plastic hooks on the back of the control panel. And we'll set that aside and locate the valve. And next we'll want to remove the outlet hoses from the valve and also take note of the location of each of those hoses so that we have them put back in the same place. Now with the top out of the way, our next step will be to disconnect the harness connector, the top coil on that valve. Just release that little locking tab, pull back on it. We're lifting up on the harness. Now we'll remove the retaining screw on the outside of the cabinet that secures that valve to the back of the cabinet. And then we're going to rotate that valve to line up the tabs so there's some slotted openings on that back panel. Now to rotate the valve, you may need to press in on the area where the screw fit in. You pressed in on both ends of that to release it and you can rotate it clockwise from the back. Far enough that we can pull it out through. We can now disconnect the harness from the bottom. The locking tab we need to release. And pull the harness up. Now our next step will be to remove the hose clamps and squeeze them together and pull them down onto the outlet hose. And you pull the hose off of the valve and if you want you can slide it onto the new valve. Make sure it's pressed on firmly. Position the clamp same with the remaining hose. Connect the harness connector to the bottom coil on the valve. We'll make sure that it's pressed all the way in so that the locking tab engages. And you'll note that there are two square tabs on that valve will line up with the openings in that back panel. So if we press the valve through the back, line up those two tabs so that it goes all the way through and then rotate the valve counterclockwise. Once we've turned it far enough, the two tabs will line up with the openings. We'll reinstall the retaining screw in one of them. Reconnect the wire harness to that top coil. Again, make sure the locking tab engages. Make sure 
sure there are no kinks in the outlet houses. And now we can put the main top back on. Make sure that main top is pressed firmly against the back. And then install the retaining screws. We're now ready to reconnect the water, plug the washer back in, and our repair is complete. Mm -hmm.